Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at the key lock feature in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. When you speed up or slow down a track, the pitch or key will be adjusted. This is particularly noticeable when you speed up a track with vocals and they turn into what some people would call a chipmunk sound. Using the key lock feature, you can avoid this problem when you speed up or slow down your tracks, as the key lock feature will keep the track at its original key. This is particularly useful for harmonic mixing, as you can now mix two key compatible tracks together, even if they are originally at two different BPMs. Use the key lock feature, press the note icon on the track or remix deck that you would like to enable the key lock feature for. You can also click on the circle button on the key knob. You'll notice that the circle next to the text that says key will turn blue when the key lock feature is enabled. There are two settings for the key lock feature in Tractor Pro 2's preferences. Let's take a look at those now. So we're going to go up to the top right of Tractor Pro 2 and click on the cogwheel icon to open up the preferences. Then we're going to go to the transport tab. In the key lock section, there are settings for quality and mode. Let's start with the quality setting. If you have an older computer, you may want to set the quality setting to eco if you experience program performance issues when using the key lock feature. Otherwise, you can leave it on HIQ or high quality. I would suggest that if you want to use the key lock feature a lot, that you first try it on the high quality setting, and if you're having issues with performance, change it to the eco setting. The second setting, mode, determines the tempo range of the key lock feature. Set to scratch, the key lock feature will be disabled if you set a track's playback speed below minus 30% or above plus 50%. If you set the mode to normal, the key lock feature will be enabled no matter what speed your track is playing at and will function for the full 100% tempo range. To learn more about how to adjust the tempo range in Tractor Pro 2, click on the link in the video description. Here is an example of how the key lock feature retains the original key of a track when you speed it up or slow it down. I have been taken by the words that you say The voice that carries them has kept me astray Too soon to act on it, can we ever be? That all depends on what you feel This has been an overview of the key lock feature in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. Now that you have a basic understanding of how the feature works, go ahead and try it in your own mixes. You may find that for certain types of music you want the key lock feature on, and for others you want it turned off. Thanks for watching this video from the DJ Podcast. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe so that you get notified when new videos are posted.